to my channel hope you're all having a lovely day today's video is going to be my september slash october candle empties i have some from god i have quite a few from tk maxx so some some brands i hadn't tried before now so the candles from everyday Lux, from kringle from yankee from caddy's candles from kiss air candles from busy bee so let's just jump into the video and these are all kind of summery scents because there's scents i've been trying to get through through the summertime so let's just get into it okay my first candle empty is in the brand for for everybody in lemon crisp lovely two wick candle i really think that looks nice and classic on you know the jar and um, the labeling and this is from tk maxx it's 5.99 i have a full review of all of these um candles up on my channel so if you want a more in-depth review please go and check those out but this was absolutely fab really great for the price 5.99 a gorgeous lemon lemon cakey scent um really really good good buy and a definite steal Okay, the next candle I have here which I burnt through is from Kringle um, in Watermelon, a lovely crystal wick pillar. Um, I did have some, it's some issues with this candle, it definitely didn't perform well with some of my others I've burnt recently, um, but yeah, um, you know, a so-so candle. Okay, the next candle I have here is from the Everyday Lux range, which I got again at TK Maxx in Paradise Beach. And I mentioned it before, but how gorgeous does that look? <gasps> looks so gorgeous, doesn't it? But as you can see, I didn't get through this candle. I have a full review on my channel, as I said, but yeah, this was a definite uh -uh candle for me. I will not go into any further. You have to read the review, <laughs> to watch the review, because there were definite issues with that one. Okay, the next candle I have here is from Busy Bee Candles and is in Rhubarb Berry Pie. And this is a medium jar from them. So let me just um, see if I can give you an example or something to put it against, just so you can see. This is a large Yankee. I know this is a bit tricky because this is a large and this is a medium, but as you can see, that's the difference between a large Yankee and a medium Busy Bee candle. So bear that in mind if you're going to buy it but um, I didn't really get too much for scent throw from this and cold stiff I did when I actually burnt it I didn't though it performed really well might be due to the fact I've got quite a large living space and this is quite a small candle but you know again it was a bit of a sitting on the fence candle maybe for a smaller room but for a large living space definitely not Okay, I have another candle here from the Everyday Luxe range, which again, I bought at T-Pay Max and it was 5 99 I had so much more luck with this one than the Paradise Beach scent. The Paradise Beach, Beach scent I had so many issues with, couldn't burn it at all, but this one was fab. As you can see, I burnt it right through to the end. It was lovely on the stronger end of light to medium scent of mango mimosa a lovely juicy um, fruity peach scent very true to life didn't smell artificial at all absolutely fab purchase from tk maxx okay the next candle i have here is from yankee candle in waikiki melon waikiki melon from yankee candle is one of my favorite scents from them Oh my God, of all time. I love it that much. I'm thinking of putting this in the freezer and getting the rest of this wax out and putting it in a wax melt burner because I love it so much. Though I have to say, I burnt, I bought this candle a year or so back and um, it did actually, the one I bought before definitely performed better than this one. The wax pour wasn't as good and it just didn't feel as strong as the last one I bought, unfortunately. But because I love the scent, from, scent so much, I will definitely buy this again. But it's because I love the scent so much. Okay, I have another candle here from Caddy's Candles in Black Cherry Bond. A lovely sort of cute little tin candle. And do you know what? This was fantastic. The scent throw was brilliant. For three pound, 25 or for under four quid, you should all go out and get this candle because it's fantastic. Um, absolutely great. I thought it was outperformed some of the, you know, high end, so to speak, candle brands. And absolutely brilliant a gorgeous black cherry scent really strong have no quibbles no quibbles no problems with this candle at all and i think you should all go and check her out okay and my last but not least candle empty is from kiss air candles in thai lime and mango and again their packaging is super duper cute isn't it super cute i love the packaging um this uh, has one wick 
And as you can see, that's how it ended up at the end. As you can see, the wax on a bit of a funny colour, not attractive. However, unfortunately, I didn't have the best of luck with this candle. It wasn't terrible, but the scent throw just could have been better to me. The packaging's gorgeous, the price is really good. I just think the scent throw could have been a bit stronger for me. So there you go, there's all my wax wax there's all my candle empties through september to october um i do hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful and as i said i will have individual candle reviews of all of these candles that's why i don't go into them in too much depth so you can look at the other candle reviews because you might not want to look at all of these you might want to pick one out if you're thinking of buying it so yeah have a look at my channel and i'll be on one of my candle review playlists for two candle reviews 2015 and it will definitely be in there for you so um please check on instagram facebook and twitter i'll leave all the links down below so you can come and say hi and chat to me about all things candle and wax related and yeah i hope you have a lovely day bye